Hi there. Today I'm revisiting uh, an old video that I did back in 2016. It was my uh, number 12, Photography 12, and it dealt with the Olympus body cap lenses. Now, uh, body cap lenses were a novel idea. Uh, many other manufacturers have come up with equally uh, thin lenses to put on mirrorless cameras since then. I have both of those lenses, and in that video, which <laughs> I apologize for the sound quality because it was one of my earliest videos, uh, in that video uh, I talk about how they work and uh, show some examples. Here I have the 9mm fisheye version of these lenses. Now it's not a, a true fisheye in the, the term, in, in the sense of the word, where it should cover nearly 180 degrees. Instead, it's a, a not very well corrected wide angle. However, it is a five element design and uh, quite good. Many, many reviewers of these lenses got it wrong. Uh, I'm talking about the focus here. It now is closed. I can push to the first detent the infinity mark. Now they all got that right because there's an infinity symbol. If I go all the way over there is the closest focus 0 0.2 meters on this one 0 0.3 on the 15 millimeter f8 which is filming me right now. However most did not mention the dot. Instead they said it was very difficult to focus because we couldn't find the right location blah blah blah. The dot is hyperfocal. This is an f8 lens and it's a very wide angle lens. Wide angle lenses at f8 have tremendous depth of field. So this hyperfocal dot is a set and forget thing if you're doing something like street photography. Now some people will say it's too slow a lens, what am I going to do? Uh, I mean, I'm not going to have any bouquet. Excuse me. What do we shoot street photography for? Do we really have time to start uh, looking for shallow depth of field situations and so on? Well, look back at all of the masters of street photography, and in almost every case, their images are sharp front to back. The whole idea is to capture the, the essence of the street, to capture the, the, the taste, the smell, the, the whole ambiance of that street. So we want lots of depth of field. So F8 and B there, these lenses fit the bill. This one's a bit wide, and as I said, not well corrected, so you are going to get something of a barrel distorted fisheye look. The one that's filming me now is only a three element lens, so in terms of actual sharpness it's not great, but it's not bad. The thing is that again, if you're going to use it for something like street photography, street photography is about the moment. Street photography is about capturing ideas, capturing expressions. It's not about seeing how sharp your images are going to be. You look back at some of the greats of street photography and many of their images are not sharp at all. But they're impactful because of the fact that they have captured something. Some gesture, some action, something that has given the image value. So guys, in this very short video, I'm just pointing out the fact that if you watch reviews of these lenses, be careful. Make sure that the reviewer actually knows how the lens works. A lot of them don't. Uh, go back and look at my, uh, my video Photography 12, which dates back to 2016. If you go back and find that video, the title of the video is basically how to use the uh, body cap lenses. So you go back and find that video and you will get more details on exactly how these lenses work. Right now, I just want to point out the fact that these are a lot of fun. They will give you good images. They're not going to be great. You're not going to have super sharp pictures with them, but you're going to have a lot of fun with them. 
and put this on a smaller Olympus body like an EPL body and you have an extremely pocketable camera system that will get images that are not possible with something like a phone. Now for those people who are going to chime in and say, well phones have great image quality, blah blah blah. All that is true. But uh, I still find that uh, when I compare images shot with the phone, uh, it does not match what I'm getting from a camera, even with these lenses. And the other problem with a phone, the dings you just heard, uh, it's still a phone. It's still a communications device. So it's still going to do all sorts of things that you may not want it to do. At times, you don't want it to do it, like right now. Anyhow, if you enjoy my video, give it a like. If you want to see more of my videos, subscribe to this channel. And, of course, if you think anybody's going to get anything useful from this tiny little clip, by all means, share it. Bye for now.